Before we get started, man, once again, I just want to make sure we send some good cheer, good wishes, good energy, good all that stuff out to my guy, man. Like I said, he's still he's still in the hospital. Um, you know, they do doing the tests and all that good stuff and all that. I talked to him this morning. He's in good spirits. Um, and like I said, bro, you're a tough fella, man. So he's gonna make it through this joint. He said that the average person, like in his tweet, he said the average person got uh, you know, your blood cell count is at, uh, your red blood cell count is at 14 and his was at four or whatever. I'm like, hey, you one tough son of a gun if you walking around and you able to do that, man. So we know he's a fighter. And uh, like I said, we just want to keep him supported, um, you know, and all of that good stuff. Keep him in the thoughts. And, and, and just keep that good energy going this way, man. You're going you gonna to beat that joint, man. I ain't gonna, I, I, I got no doubt in my mind, man. And uh, also, I want to let y'all know that the bots are in the comment section. We are banning them, guys. They are they are there. Do not go to Telegram. Do not go to anything other than Instagram, um, Twitter. I'll never tell you go to anything other than Instagram, Twitter, or my Discord or whatever like that to collect the prize. Not I'm sure I ain't gonna tell you to send me no money so I can send you something. That makes literally no sense. Man, and also, a prize that you can get, man. Look, speaking of prizes, check it out. Like the video and comment. What we comment down below, Bridget? Message. Comment message down below at the end of your comment. Just put message at the end of your comment, man. And let me tell you what that's gonna do. That's gonna enter you into be able to do two things. You're gonna be entered in the contest to win a $50 cash app and or uh, uh, VC this week. So you, you uh, at the, on Friday, we give away $50 worth of VC or $50 cash app every single Friday. So you'll be entered in that automatically. And also you will be entered, uh, if we can average 10K views, which we are on track to do that right now, we can average 10K views per video. We're gonna give away a next gen console, whether it be an Xbox or a PlayStation um, at the end of this month, man. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for that because uh, and, and keep liking the videos, keep commenting because it keeps us, keeps getting us pushed out. I could show y'all the numbers, but y'all ain't interested in that because all that being said, good morning out there in 2K land, man. The first thing I want to talk about, bro, is this right here. Uh, Got to talk to my close personal friend, uh, Mr. Wong, man. Look, for some reason, the core badges are glitched in our like we know that a lot of people's core badges are glitched in a way where they can't even get the core badge but this is something that i don't know if this is intended or not intended i i now right here y'all see that i got my uh glove on my glove is cored on gold right now my clamps was cored on hall of fame but i wanted to drop my clamps down and so i dropped it down to gold now right now my gold clamps is cord and it says complete, but it took away my my ability to to core my Hall of Fame clamps. That's I, I I don't know if that's intended or if that should be the case or what. But it's just one of those things where I don't, I just want to try to bring it to these guys' attention because like I should not I should like once you core it at a level, I thought that you could just core it at any level and maintain the higher level. But as it stands, if I core uh let's see let's see if, let's see what else I got core what I got out here. Um, something that I really don't care about. I don't think I got another badge that I don't care about. Uh, rebound chaser. So look, check it out. Uh, no, I can't court. If I court, I lose my badge. I, I have to do my badge count and all that good stuff. Over. I'm not about to do that. So look, just 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 want to kind of bring that to your attention. I had clamps cored on Hall of Fame, and then I wanted to take it down a level, so I cored it on gold, and that took away my ability to court on Hall of Fame. I'm not sure if you guys have went gone through that or if you've seen that or if that's how it's intended to be, man. But yo, I uh, just want to get that out there and let the guys know that that is an issue. Up next, we got the boy Solo. Solo YT, he says, you'll see the fakes come around when you're up in life. Hey, that's a fact, man, but you're gonna see them when you're down in life too, as long as you can, as long as you can provide value to somebody, you're gonna see them come around, whether they fake or real, man. So like, I, I don't like to just get into the whole fake and real stuff, but um, why would somebody come around? The only time people are not gonna come around is if you provide no value. If you're a person that, that has the ability to provide exceeding amounts of value to somebody, of course they're gonna be around. But when you can no longer provide any type of value, they're not gonna be around. And that's, I think, not only does, is that how it is, but I think that's just how it, that's just human nature. If you, you're not gonna be around somebody that you perceive can't do anything for you, this is what it is. So, and then like they also tell you, don't be around, don't keep people around that can't do anything for you. So it's like one of those things is double-edged sword. If you if you know that people wanna be around people that have, have value, then, and you become a person of value, then they're gonna wanna be around you. Uh, conversely, 
if you don't want people to be around you, just become a valueless, valueless person and, and it just won't even matter. So, you know, like I said, as long as you're successful or as long as you're a person that grinds and, and works hard, people see value in you, they're going to be around you. They're going to want to be around you. That's just how it is. It's always been that way. It's always going to be that way. I don't even think, I can't even begrudge nobody for that, man, because nobody wants to be around somebody that's pretty much a leech. Up next, we got the boy Quavo Cavo saying, I have came to the conclusion that the OGs that blew up in 2K14, 15, and 16 are not that good. And uh, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. They're, they're just not just 2K. That's that's never been a thing in, in anything. Like, to be honest, I've been in the Call of Duty community, Apex community, um, you know, all these other communities, Fortnite communities and all that. I'll be honest with you. The best players are not the ones that's gonna blow up on YouTube. It's about entertainment. And a couple people actually said that down in the comment section. Like, bro, nobody watches y'all because y'all good. We watch you because you're entertaining. And that really is what it is. If you don't, it's, it's, it's again, Everybody can be good at the game or everybody feels like they can be good in the game, but it's that entertainment value and that's the value they find in you. So that's why they're going to come around. I really don't feel like anybody watches really anybody because they're actually good in the game. You look at the people that are stopped at the top of Twitch. Those guys are not the best people at the game because we have a 2K league. We know who, who are the best players. We know who, who uh, has got the best moves, best seeds best all that stuff these guys are professional gamers and those guys don't get nearly as many views even the 2k league doesn't get nearly as many views as somebody like cash nasty or flight or Tysino when they go live even though these guys are good players in their own right we know that they are not the best because again we have the 2k league so the people that are truly the best they don't get viewed like that it just it just is what it is and it's always been that way call of duty and all of that the only person that i know that was like really just super crazy at the game and got and also got views like that was my guy marker j back then but other than him really it was just the people that was uh the t martins uh the the x jaws is the uh, uh white boy seven street all those guys that was like pretty much news channels but also they they did like the best uh the best loadouts best nade spots best all this all stuff like that you know um uh, all that stuff like we was talking about yesterday when we was talking about 2k has always been best bills best best bills best uh jump shots and uh you know game breaking this game breaking that it's always been the same way with call of duty the people that provide the most uh the perceived most value that's who's gonna get the views it's never been who's who's the best there's not much value in the person that is the best but somebody who's giving you the cigs and giving you the sauce those are the people that are that that normally are gonna blow up that's why bear is blowing up because people see he's entertaining he's already entertaining yeah, but people see the value in him giving the sauce out or whatever like that. So like I said, there's this nothing new. It's always been like that, always gonna be like that. And uh, the entertainment value is the first thing and the second thing is just, can you help me become better at the game? It, it just is what it is. Up next, hey, we got we got uh, Tampa. He says, 2K placed, placed a legend grind with uh, level 40. The, the, bad is, the bad is folks average 5.6 points a game on casual with the legend with legend tunnel vision not passing no defense be wide open and their and their double team and still will shoot there's a 1v1 court go play by yourself 3v3 wreck is is team i mean 3v3 wreck is team uh 3v3 and wreck is team we all want to enjoy the game and that's something i spoke about the other week man um it's just like it's, it's crazy because it's like we want to play the game and we want to be have fun but when you see people like that trying to average 22 points a game, and like I said, it's gonna it's gonna have an adverse effect on everybody because you're gonna have people out there that are gonna be completely blast ass open, and that dude ain't passing that ball. He gonna try to go to the rim and get his 22 points a game because the difference between 22 points a game and and uh, 20 points a game is about what 500 games, a thousand games. I don't know. Y'all do the math, but y'all understand what I'm saying. Um, that two, extra two points a game over the course of a thousand games, or over the course of 10,000 games. That extra two points a game, or 5,000 games, that extra two points a game, that, that could take a whole thousand games off of his grind or whatever. So a lot of people ain't passing that rock, and they're not passing that rock knowing that they're not getting the legend, but they're gonna use that as an excuse to stand behind it. Man, I'm trying to get the legend, man. That's why I ain't passed that ball. Bro, shut the f up. Shut the f up. Bro, you ain't never made no legend in the last five 2Ks, even with the easiest legend grind. Last year, myself included, you didn't even make it the legend, but you gonna make it this year when it's a hundred thousand for bro. Boy, stop. Anyway, up next we got that boy Chalk. Boy, that boy Chalk was not happy, and I'm gonna tell y'all just like this, bro. He was out here 
he out here playing the game, man. Oh, uh, we don't want to get copyrighted, so we're just going to go straight from Twitter. He out here getting ripped over and over. And, uh, you know, he is not happy about it. He says, 2K, fix the game. The game the game difficulty has to be raised on 2K. Or, I mean, uh, game difficulty has to be raised on 2K. Or 2K23 will be dead in a month. Man, this is nuts. Fix steals. And I'm, I'm looking at it, bro. And I'm going to be real with you. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to cap. Yes, steals do. I mean, they might need a little nerf, a, a slight touch. But mostly all of these steals that I'm seeing, they... I'm not saying that you deserve it, but I'm saying that they're predictable. I can tell you, like, what's going to happen. I, I, I've been playing the game long enough, and, and so I know you've been playing the game long enough, too. Bro, you know when this ball, I know, you know that dude about to steal this ball. Like, oh, okay, let me see right here. What's happening? He about to get it stolen. You knew he was about to get it stolen. Now, that one is the unrealistic launch that I think they, they should probably take it out of the game. But when you're standing right here, you, you're running into two people. They're going to take the ball. It is what it is, bro. Like, I understand that it is frustrating and that and that you know some of this stuff is is what it is. But bro, in all of these, like right here, he's gonna take that ball. You dribbled it right into him. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I know I'm not as good as the game as the next person, but right here you got the galaxy open on you right here. This ball about to be gone. There's two people around you. It's gone. Look, the good rule of thumb in this game is if there's two, if it's three people in the area, with yourself included, the ball is gone, player. Go ahead and get that ball out your hand, man. Like, I do understand what he's saying, though, because it is it is very touchy that you can... It is very touchy. It's a touchy subject because you don't feel like you should be losing the ball to somebody of lesser of lesser skill. But in a lot of situations, we already know when you're going to lose the ball, bro. Like, if you dribble into a double team on this game, you've lost it. If you dribble at two people in this game and, and you uh, you know, you do a certain move, you've lost it. Just like me and Gambit discovered the other day, like when he was playing the 1v1s, if you do the step back move and the dude reaches when you do that step back, the ball is gone. If he got if he got silver glove, the ball is gone. We all know that when you try to pass the ball on 2K, a lot of times, how many times we say, dang, man, I was just about to pass the ball, and, and he got it. Anytime, if you press the pass button and the person presses the X button at the same time you press the pass button, the ball is gone. So we already know this stuff, man. I think that we got to just figure out a ways to govern ourselves accordingly. I'm not saying that he's totally wrong, but I'm just saying, looking at all of those steals, I knew those was going to get stole. And, and if I knew he was going to get stole, he did too. He's just mad that they did get stole. And I'm not saying that he shouldn't be mad, but I'm just saying, we knew that. We knew that. I, every, tell, tell me the truth. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, bro, was 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 not every one of them steals predictable? I predicted, I can predict every single one of them. I can tell you the ball about to be gone. So if you know that it's about to be gone and you still do it, then, I mean, I, I don't really know what to tell you. But you're not wrong for feeling the way that you feel. I'm just saying that you know when that ball going to get stolen on this game. That's all I'm saying, man. It is what it is. But, hey, big shout out to Top. Great player. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Hey, way better than I am at the game. Uh, on a different level than me, but still getting that ball stole like everybody else. Up next, we got uh, we got Uncle Demi saying, "Hey, which next maker captain has the best team? Remember, the, uh, so he got a tournament coming up on October the 13th and the 14th. Man, this is gonna be the next maker tournament, and uh, these are the teams. I guess it's all twos or whatever. And so Team Pool. Oh, so oh, okay, I got this the captain in it. So it is gonna be three. So Team Pool Boy, uh, you got Team It's Queen, a uh, Team Queen, Team Tiller." Team Aaliyah's Life, uh, iPod King Carter, Queen of HN, uh, Garcelle, and The Real Dog. And then these are the brackets right here. So you got Poor Boy Sin, Pro Boy Sin versus Queen, Real Dog versus Aaliyah, uh, Garcelle versus uh, Queen, and Tiller versus iPod King Carter. I ain't got a lot of y'all, but um, I done seen all them people play. Even Aaliyah tough at this game, ain't. Catway, everybody tough on this joint. So, hey, that's you know, as far as next makers go, that's gonna be very interesting, and uh, we gonna see, we gonna see how they go. Up next, we got my guy, the OG Grandmaster Sensei, saying, still crying about main ball handlers movement after after what this game, after what this game is, really want you to be useless at everything. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. It does seem like that. Uh, main ball handlers do need a little bit move. I mean, they, they they don't have a whole lot of movement, but at the same time, they do got a lot of movement. It's one of those things where it's like a catch-22 because nobody wants to be out there on that island getting getting sauced up, but at the same time, everybody wants the ability to sauce the next person up. It's such a touchy subject, man, that uh, I just have to ask y'all what y'all think about it. I do understand that, that 
Some people don't like playing with the main ball with a main ball handler. They want them to have they want 2K to force people to pass the ball. But then you got people like us. Well, we have a main ball handler. We completely fine with it. So, um, you know, it is what it is. You gonna have to we got to figure it out. It's another one of the things you gonna have to figure out. When them six ones come out there and they be moving like they be moving, bro, it be tough. It's tough to stay in front of them. But hey, just gotta deal with it. Up next, hey, we got that boy IQ contain saying the one v one. Uh, the 1v1 losers out in the theater needs to be a permanent feature in 2K23. Like I said, we need to have the show and we need to have the uh we need to have the theater and the show, man. And with the theater and the show, then uh, you know, what we want to be the permanent games can be permanent and what cannot be what we don't want to be permanent, they can go, we can vote it in, vote it out, and that will be one of those polls that would actually be good because everybody that plays those game types could actually vote. You know, probably at the end of the month or something like that, what they want to go to the show and continue to be permanent and what they want to be in the theater. So, but I think the theater is an awesome idea because it's modular and we get to uh, get to keep doing stuff out. Hey, community clips, we got that boy Hoodie Sean, boy. What the hell, that boy Hoodie Sean, one of them guys, one of the guys. Uh, killing it in my career. And he said, I ain't just killing it in my career. I'm killing y'all on the court. Killing me softly on the court. Killing them softly. Where, where is he going? Right. Two piece. Uh, that that boy Hoodie Sean right there, man. Y'all say, hey, like we said, hey, 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 not the best. Definitely the most entertaining. Definitely getting them views. Kind of like my boy Cooley Yard mind say, man, hey, I'd rather be what you'd rather have 100,000 in the stage or 100,000 in your bank account, baby. Man, people just perceive that you good. I'm, I'm going to go with Yard mind on that one. I ain't going to count. Up next, hey, we got that boy. We got that boy. Hey, look at that boy. Hey, Wood. Straight down, Rod. Four piece. Uh -huh. Look at that. And hang on the rim. Hang on it. Get your Jim Stone, boy. Jim Stone. Get him off the rim. Get him a tech. He's getting a technical foul. Here he goes to the rim. There's a four piece down there. Four piece McNuggets. Get waiting on him. Uh, uh, uh. He's going to hang on the rim. One rep, two reps. Give him the technical. Get off the rim, you. What's what the bollocks? Here? What is going on here? Get yourself off the rim. And last but not least, hey, we got you know the Elite Eight Finals, man. You know what I'm saying? They were just out there hooping, man. Just a just a little Elite Eight fest. Like I said, I don't. I owe that great steal. I knew that was gonna steal. Like I said, man, I ain't mad at Chalk for getting mad at the steals, but I just feel like all those were predictable steals and that that could have been avoided uh, in some way or another. So I'm not saying nothing about about his ability to play because we know he's one of the greatest. But at the same time, when something's predictable and you know it's gonna happen and you still go into it, then at some point you have to take some of that uh, blame on yourself as well. But again, he's not wrong. It's just that. It is annoying, but I don't know that it needs to be patched because, like, I, I, is, it, is it the fact that you got the ball stolen or is it the fact that you got the ball stolen from somebody with perceived less skill? I don't know. If you was in the stage, you have got mad at those steals because, because, like I said, they were all predictable. We all knew that it was going to get stolen in those certain situations, but, you know, I, I do understand that you, you would also like more ball security, so it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man, on all the subjects, man. Uh, Bridget, what was the word for today? Message. Message is the word for the day, man, so put that at the end of your of your um comment down in the comment section, man, and I'm going to let y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Channel. Gosh,